Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Minister Cynthia Forbes. We invite you to tune in to the Tobago Inspirational Network for the message of hope. Bless be the name of the Lord. You know David in one of the Psalms says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. This is talking about experiencing the goodness of God. Experiencing how good God is. It's not having somebody telling you or telling us that God is good. It's that experiencing the fullness, hallelujah, of the goodness of God. It's not a hearsay, but it's an experience. David experienced God's goodness throughout his entire life. Hallelujah. And we too can experience real, really experience God's goodness. It's an experience. Hallelujah. A deep, fulfilled, a fulfilling experience of the goodness of God. Let me take this opportunity, hallelujah, to welcome everyone to the message of hope. Thank God for the opportunity. Another day, hallelujah, he has offered us, he has given to us, hallelujah. My God, to share his word and to experience his goodness, hallelujah, experience his mercy, experience his love, experiences salvation hallelujah experience sins forgiven experience the new birth hallelujah hallelujah he's given us another day another opportunity my god my god i pray right now that god will minister hallelujah to you wherever you are my god on your bed of affliction god will touch you god will meet you at the point of your need Hallelujah. Those of you who are struggling to make ends meet, God will meet you at the point of your need. Hallelujah. As you call upon him. Hallelujah. My God, those of you who don't know where to turn, what to, what to turn to, who to turn to, turn to God. Hallelujah. He says, cast all your care upon him. Cast all your care upon me. Jesus is saying, cast he's our burden bearer. He could make the difference in your life. That which you are struggling with. Hallelujah. He can make, he say, take my yoke upon you. And learn of me. Hallelujah. His burden. His burden, that which is, is light. His burden is light. Imagine a burden, which is, should be something heavy. When, it, when it's God, when it's God's burden. It's light. His yoke is easy. Hallelujah. When animals are yoked together, it's a struggle. But his yoke, yoke up with Jesus today. It will not be a struggle for you. No, 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 no. It will not be a struggle. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm here to remind us from the word of God that Jesus is coming again. Hallelujah. These are the days. Days getting shorter. It's already, it's already October 2021 will soon be over, God permitting. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Yes? Hallelujah. It's a day to set your house in order. It's a time, it's a season to set your house in order and your house is your life. God sent the message to Hezekiah, set your house in order for you shall die and not live. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God, today is the day to experience God's true love, his real love in your life, in your heart, in your soul, in your spirit. Hallelujah. Over the weeks gone by, we were looking at escaping or how to escape God's vengeance. His day of wrath. Hallelujah. All through the Old Testament, God spoke of vengeance and day of wrath and destruction to his people who went astray, who turned their backs on him. Hallelujah. 
and he's saying again today he's saying today hallelujah in his word as we were reading in Thessalonians second Thessalonians chapter 1 God's day of vengeance Jesus Christ shall be revealed and and and, and <laughs> revelation tells us every eye behold he comes with clouds you see I'm telling us reminding us that Jesus is coming again we say coming soon but Jesus says I will come again Revelation is telling us behold he comes with clouds and every eye shall see him even those who pierce him the soldiers at the cross those who pierce him those who nail his hands and his feet they're gonna see him Herod will see him Pilate will see him yes and all the groups of people who said away with him they will see him those who said his blood be upon us and our children will see him will see Jesus they will see Jesus we will all see him some will see him before others those who will be caught up in the rapture hallelujah will see him those who remain on earth hallelujah will see him in his second appearance on earth and this is where revelation is telling us hallelujah when he shall be revealed from heaven when jesus shall be revealed everybody will see him my god my god where will you be in the rapture will you be with the saints coming back to earth with him hallelujah you know i was thinking uh, uh um this thought came to me who we serve now to the end of our life whosoever we serve or we align ourselves with or we pl pledge allegiance to hallelujah we or we yoked up to or we get hooked up with hallelujah whosoever on whose side you are on whose side we are now we're gonna to the end of time that's the person we're gonna spend eternity with because eternity must be spent in one of two places with one of two persons either with the Lord Jesus Christ or with the devil and his angels and the beast and those kinds of people hallelujah in hell the Bible speaks about hell hallelujah father God I lift up today before you I lift up your word I lift up myself before you I lift up those who are viewing today my God minister by your Holy Spirit release your anointing to break yokes and destroy bondages hallelujah from lives oh God hallelujah and that Holy Spirit will, will, will minister and draw them hallelujah cause many today oh God to choose to serve you the true and the living God before eternally too late father god i give you praise and i give you thanks in jesus name amen you know there was another scripture i wanted to uh, connect with um chapter one that which we were reading uh, verse seven thessalonians second thessalonians chapter one seven to nine i stopped at verse eight last time yes and i want to get get it off because i don't want to come back to it to song them yeah because you see most people like to get the the, the 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 preaching that makes us jump and scream and and holler but there's there's a more serious part to life hallelujah it's more than hoarding and making money getting educated getting degrees building houses amassing wealth there is more to life than that hallelujah there's the other aspect of your life your soul is important jesus says what shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul you know sometimes we quote that and we leave out own your own personal soul what shall it profit hallelujah a man if he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul there's more to life than what we just do on a daily basis getting educated and every that's okay building amassing wealth that's okay there were lots of rich people 
<laughs> I mean, the wealth of this world belongs to God. And he allows us to enjoy some of it. But he wants us to have him in our lives. He wants us to know him. Because the Bible tells us here in this chapter, Hallelujah, those who do not know God will be punished. It's harsh, but it's fear. <laughs> you, we are living in God's world. We didn't create this world. <laughs> it is his world. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. It belongs to him. He spoke the world into being and he's keeping it. Bible tells us he uphold the world by the word of his power. He's keeping it in place in spite of all the evil and all what that is going on in the world. He, he, he has not abandoned this world. Yes, he's in charge. It's, it may seem as though he's not in charge. He is in charge. And he will allow what he wants to allow. Yes. Those that do not know God and obey not the gospel. We spoke about that, what the gospel is. Yes, verse nine tells us, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord. Listen, it means eternal separation. Eternal separation. And eternity is long. How long? Long. It's forever and ever and ever. Where will you spend eternity? In your own mind, right now where you are, if you should die, which, where will you be going? Would you be going into the arms of the Lord Jesus Christ, so to speak? Or will you go to the place where Dives, Lazarus, and Dives, Lazarus was able to be taken into Abraham's bosom, a place of comfort? While the rich man was in a place of torment. If you should pass this life now, will you be in Abraham's bosom, so to speak, as Lazarus? Or will you be in a place of torment where the flames do not die? A place of torment. <laughs> yes, those who do not know God, you can know. I spoke about that. You can know God through Jesus Christ. He will show you the Father. He will introduce you to the Father. You will get to know the Father because the Bible says no man comes to the Father except through Jesus. And except the Spirit draws him. Do not resist the wing of the Holy Spirit. It's for your good, for my good. Amen. In the long run. Yes, we, we only could see now and enjoy now and live for the moment. We, we want to live for the moment. Hallelujah. And some people are waiting for this pandemic to be over for 2022 to come in. Hallelujah. As I heard one person saying, um, you got to vaccinate to gyrate. You may not live to gyrate anywhere. Don't wait for pandemic to be over. Hallelujah. Because after this day, something else. Get to know God today. Accept Jesus Christ today. Well, it's called today. Because today may be too late for you. If you put it off. If you put it off. Hallelujah. You will not experience God then. You will not be able to experience the, the joys of heaven and, and, and be in the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the word of God. I'm not making this up. It's written in the word. Hallelujah. I am here only as I was telling God this morning. Jesus is saying, Lord, I am just your messenger. Just tell me what you want me to say. Just talk through me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tell me what you want me to say. Here it is in the word of God. If you do not know God, way down you continue to, to reject and continue to put him off. Pro procrastination, it is said, is a thief of time. The more time goes by when we, and we continue to procrastinate, time is not waiting on us. <laughs> time goes by. Hallelujah. Those who do not know God, those who do not know God, those who do not know God, and continue to reject him unto the end. I don't know how you will explain. Why you didn't? I don't know how you will explain. 
to him on that day why you did not obey the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and why you did not get to know God when he is able to be known right now. How will you explain that? What excuse you will give him? No excuse will stand in that day because you have no excuse even right now. Now is the moment. Now is your moment. Today is your day. Accept Jesus Christ. How to do that? Confess. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us we were all born sinners. We were born in sin. Hallelujah. But God sent his son. Hallelujah. To pay the price that we couldn't pay. Hallelujah. Accept him. Tell him. Talk to him. He says, come now. Let us reason. Let's talk it out. He'll cleanse you of your sin. He'll give you new life in Christ. It's a beautiful life in spite of the challenges. In spite of what, they would, they would not even matter. <laughs> because you have Jesus. You will have him in your life. All the challenges, testings, maybe even persecution. They will pale. They cannot be compared. The Apostle Paul says, with what God has in store for us. Cannot be compared to our trials, our testings, our heartaches and your pains and aches here. Cannot be compared. Because we will have a new body. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And all pain and aches will go at the resurrection. When he comes, we shall be changed, the Bible says. We shall be changed. We shall be changed. Hallelujah, this mortal will put on immortality. Yes, never die again. <laughs> and this corruption, this corrupt, this thing that, this body that will, is, is subject to, to decay, hallelujah, will put on incorruption, will not be corrupted. Sin will not corrupt it anymore. We'll get a body for eternity. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. My God, my God, touch lives today. Hallelujah. Those who are looking to you, oh God. There are those who are looking to you. There are those who are asking questions. There are those who do not understand, oh God. Minister to them even now. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Touch lives, touch, touch individuals. Hallelujah. As they call out to you, as they cry out to you. Cry and he will hear and he will answer. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We are marching. We are marching on to eternity. We are moving into eternity. Hallelujah. Eternity with the Lord Jesus Christ or with somebody else somewhere else. Hallelujah. I wanted to, let me just go to Jude. The epistle of Jude, hallelujah. One verse there. Oh, let me read from verse 14. Jude is just one chapter. <laughs> Very powerful chapter. Yes. Verse 14 says, And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these. And he's talking about the ungodly people. Those who do not know God and those who do not obey the gospel of Jesus Christ. Yes. And he was saying, and Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh. Yeah, he's saying that. Behold, the Lord cometh, or the Lord comes with ten thousands. Ten thousands of his saints. Those saints are those who went up in the rapture who will come back with him after the tribulation. Seven years of hell on earth. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of Jesus, who behold the Lord comes with ten thousands of his saints. What is he coming to do? What is he coming to do? One, he's coming, one of the things he's coming to set up his kingdom. Hallelujah. His eternal kingdom. Hallelujah. Remember Jesus? Uh, God said the government shall be upon his shoulders. Yes. He is the one who will rule then. He will take control. Hallelujah. Yes. So he's coming to 
execute judgment upon all all those who will be on earth then he's coming with his saints the saints the jews and the gentiles who accepted jesus christ the church hallelujah of jesus christ and not pentecostal church not methodist church not anglican church not baptist church not catholic church the believers those who accepted jesus christ as lord and savior hallelujah he's coming back they went up in the rapture hallelujah while seven years on earth hallelujah to tribulation seven years with the lord jesus christ hallelujah at the marriage supper of the lamb and to receive rewards etc so he's going to come back after the seven years with his saints to execute judgment on all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds <laughs> which they have ungodly committed look at whole nation yes and of all their hard speeches <laughs> which ungodly sinners have spoken against against him against him who the lord god hallelujah jesus christ oh god hallelujah the holy spirit the triune god hallelujah he's coming to pay back he's coming to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them to bring back to their memory these are the things you, you were saying remember in Revelation we are told uh, books will be opened and another book books will be opened and another book which is the book of life and those who are not found written in the book of life will be cast into the lake of fire you know who will be there too the beast the false prophets and Satan hallelujah yes to convince to convince to convince be convinced today hallelujah be convinced today be convinced today be converted today hallelujah be convinced that Jesus Christ is Lord be convinced that Jesus Christ came into this world to die for sinners be convinced that he died for you be converted today let the Holy Spirit minister to you give your life to the Lord Jesus Christ give your life today don't wait for next year don't wait for after carnival don't wait for after christmas don't wait for when you're done drink drunk and get disorderly for the christmas season it doesn't make sense you don't know none of us knows what the next hour will give or will bring accept jesus christ he's coming jesus is coming again he's coming to execute judgment on all ungodly sinners individuals and nations yes individually nations you name it all races all creed those who remain on earth hallelujah not accepting jesus christ nor obeying the gospel nor knowing god hallelujah you can know god today jesus is coming again hallelujah the punishment will be severe according to what i'm reading it's going to be severe and it it will be for all eternity eternal separation not in a place of comfort that's the problem it will not be in a place of comfort you can get away you can escape god's vengeance you can escape god's vengeance today today is the day of salvation now now is the acceptable time we are told to preach the gospel in season whether it is a favorable time or it's not a favorable time now in this pandemic time you may think it's not a favorable time it's not a good time to tell people to accept jesus christ people are hungry people are sick people are dying uh, no money we are uh, we can't get yes 
Whether it's a favorable time or not a favorable time, we have to preach this gospel. Jesus says, go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He that believes shall be saved. He that believes not shall be damned. And he says, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the earth. And then shall the end come. Hallelujah. Today you have the opportunity. You have that opportunity. I was out there. You know. I didn't know Jesus Christ. I didn't know God. I lived for me. The world, the flesh, the devil. That's how I lived. As everybody else. Born in sin. But, thanks be unto God. When I couldn't handle life anymore. When things were getting over oh, too much for me. I couldn't handle. I needed help. <laughs> I cried out. Like Peter when he was sinking. He cried out, oh, Lord save me. I cried out. You can cry out today. Right where you are. Bow your heads and ask Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Ask him to come in. Ask him to forgive you. Lord God. Forgive me. I acknowledge my sin before you. I am a sinner. I was born in sin. And I acknowledge that Jesus Christ died for me. He took my place. Even right now I confess. Forgive me, oh God. Forgive me. Forgive me. Wash me with the blood of Jesus. Cleanse me and make me your child. And help me to live for you every day of my life. In Jesus' name. Simple. Simple words. Just tell him your heart. You're fed up with the way things are happening. You're fed up with the life you are living. You want a change. <laughs> and that change will begin on the inside. Oh, what a change it will be. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you as you make that choice today to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. So you can escape the vengeance of God. It's not that you are afraid. It's not a place to be at. Yes? It would be hell on earth then. You can escape. Run for your life. <laughs> Flee from the wrath to come. God bless you as you continue to view the message of hope every Wednesday afternoon on TIN. Thank you for viewing. Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I am Minister Cynthia Forbes. We invite you to tune in to the Tobago Inspirational Network for the message of hope.